This is the story of a caveman defending the First Amendment and Internet freedom. Steve Cooksey was an obese, junk food scarfing couch potato. He nearly died, was rushed to intensive care, and diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Steve decided to go forward by leaping back in time. He adopted the diet of our Paleolithic ancestors. Fats, meats, nuts, and veggies, but no sugars or grains. He also exercised like a caveman, running and jumping in bare feet. As Steve went from flab to fab, he stopped needing drugs and insulin. He started a blog called Diabetes Warrior. He's part of a nationwide movement of regular people taking responsibility for their health by sharing ideas and advice over the internet. Soon Steve had thousands of readers and became friends with many. His new friends often ask for advice about Stone Age eating. Steve discovered a passion for motivating people and he started a coaching business to provide for a fee the exact same advice and moral support he'd been giving his family and friends for free. In December 2011, Steve even started a Dear Abby-style advice column on his blog. North Carolina officials got mad. They told Steve that giving dietary advice is not free speech. That's assessing and counseling, which requires a government-issued dietitian's license. They told him that private advice to friends is illegal assessing, that his Dear Abby column is illegal assessing and counseling, and that his new coaching business is illegal too. In North Carolina's view, the government could throw Dear Abby in jail for not having a psychologist license, and even shut down Facebook pages and internet forums where people share advice on diet, pregnancy, parenting, marriage, and a million other topics. But under the First Amendment, the government cannot use occupational licensing laws to ban ordinary people from giving advice. No one thinks that getting advice about what food to buy at the grocery store from an online column, a friend or a motivational life coach is the same as going to a doctor. That's why Steve is joined with the Institute for Justice to stand up for his rights. Together, they're defending free speech and internet freedom for Americans everywhere. Who do you think should win? The cavemen or North Carolina's regulatory dinosaur? 